Welcome to Storytime. My name is Laura. I'm the Early Childhood Program Developer at Children's Discovery Museum in San Jose, and we're here for another story. And today's story is a fun little tale about a snail. <laughs> nice. All right, are you ready to join me for a story? Okay, if you are, let's sing our opening song. Ready? So sing along with me if you know the words. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, well, welcome again to story time. But before I start our story time, I just wanted to remind all my friends that the museum is turning 30 years old this year. And to celebrate that, we're asking our friends to share different memories or pictures with us. So if you have any photos or stories you'd like to share with us, please join us on our website at www.cdm.org and click on the virtual purple museum, or you can also share photos through hashtag 30 years of discovery. All right, so back to my friend, the snail. Now our snails move very slowly. Can you use your fingers and move very slowly? Very good. See, I'm talking very slowly. What animal is this? We have a mouse. Do you think mice move fast or slow? They move very fast or very quickly. They go quick, 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 quick. Can you move your fingers very quick? Quick, 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 quick. Let's do it again, ready? Quick, 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 quick. All right. So before we start our story, I have a poem that we're gonna do and we're gonna use our one of our hands to move very slowly like the snail. So practice that. And our other hand is gonna move very quickly, like the mouse. Quick, 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 okay? All right, so here we go. I'll do it once, and then we could do it together the second time. Okay, ready? Here we go. Slowly, slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly down the garden trail. Quickly, quickly, quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, 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 very up, runs up to his little house. Squeak! Nice. Okay, you wanna try that again? Okay, I kind of stumbled over my words because I was going so quickly. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with our snail, ready? Slowly, slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly down the garden trail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly to its little house. Squeak! <laughs> All right, good job, my friends. Awesome. All right, so today's story is called The Secret by Lindsay Barrett George. And it's about a snail who wants to share a secret with another friend and the path it has to take in order for that secret to go from one snail to its friend. Are you ready to find out how he shares it sick or how it shares its secret? Okay, let's find out. Hmm. All right, here we are. We have our snail right here. The snail comes up to the mouse. He says, can you keep a secret? Said Mr. Snail to the mouse. Yes, I can, said the mouse. Then listen, said the snail. Psst, 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 psst. See that? He's sharing a secret. Said the mouse's ears are all perked up. So then the mouse, all this way, and squeaked the secret to the beetle. Oh, now look at the path the beetle took. And the beetle went all the way up here and pitched it to the, what animal is that? The turtle, ready? Can you help me tell or share the secret? And the 
and the turtle followed this and grumbled it to the to the fish who swished it to the frog so now all these people are sharing or all these animals are sharing the secret and the frog went boing, boing, croaked it to the salamander. <laughs> and follow the salamander. Went up and down and up and down and wiggled it. Can you wiggle? To the moth. Go. What do you think this secret's all about? Hmm, I don't know. I wonder. I'm very curious. And the moth traveled and shook it to the bee. Here's the bee. So the moth went, so then the bee went. buzzed it to the caterpillar. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you buzz a secret? <laughs> See, who's the caterpillar going to tell? And the caterpillar, look at that. Up and down the pointy trees, down to the ground, all the way back up to the tree, and tickled it Look at that little worm. All right, let's do like. <laughs> what do you think the secret is? Do you have any ideas? Think about it. If you were a snail, what would your secret be? Hmm. I know what my secret would be. I like to eat flowers. That would be my secret. Think about what your secret would be. All right, so then our worm. Because our worm traveled through the dirt. Look at that. All the way through its little holes. And it hummed to the chickadee. And the chickadee sang, or the chickadee flew all the way over here and sang it. like it kind of slithered through the tree. Look at that. Wrapped itself around and he hissed it to the chipmunk. <laughs> this is, secret is going a very long way, isn't it? And now look at this. The chipmunk scurried and chattered it to the spider. And the spider said, okay, I got it, I got it. And the spider clicked the secret to Miss Snail. There's Miss Snail, who turned around and whispered, oh, Mr. Snail, I love you too. <laughs> Oh, and there's Mr. Snail, who started the whole secret, and all the friends that helped share the secret. Look at that. Did any of you guess what the secret was going to be? Hmm, I didn't, huh? I thought the secret was about flowers. <laughs> that was my prediction. Oh, and look at at the very end. They give a nice little snail hug. <laughs> nice. All right, can you give yourself a big round of applause? Very good. That was a long journey for our secret to go, right? So this story made me think about a game that I like to play. It's called Telephone. I don't know if any of you have ever played the game Telephone before, but this is how it goes. 
So we'll have a group and one person will start something and like maybe they say, I love flowers. And they whisper it to one person who whispers it to the next, who whispers it to the next and the whispers it to the person at the very end. And the person at the very end has to say what they thought they heard. So maybe if I said, I like flowers, maybe the person at the very end said, I wish I had powers. Because flowers and powers rhyme, maybe that's what they heard. All right, so we're gonna play a game. So how right. this is gonna work is I have a map of how this is gonna go. We're gonna start with me. I'm gonna tell a secret to the snail. The snail's gonna tell a secret to the turtle. The turtle's gonna tell the secret to the snake. And the snake is gonna tell the secret to the chipmunk. And the chipmunk's gonna tell the secret to you. All right, and so then you have to, we have to see if what you heard is the same thing that I said at the beginning. Okay, are you ready? All right, so here we go. We have first, we're gonna have me, I'm gonna tell the snail the secret. Here we go. Okay, and then the secret, or the secret, the snail is going to tell the turtle. Okay. And then the turtle is going to tell, do you remember who? <gasps> the snake. <laughs> and the snake is gonna tell, remember who the snake was gonna tell? That's right, the chipmunk, ready? Okay, now the chipmunk is gonna tell you, listen very closely, okay? Ready, here we go. I like pigs named Fred. Okay. <laughs> what did you hear? What did you hear? I thought I heard the chipmunk said, I like pigs named Fred. <laughs> but you know what I said originally? I said, I like birds that are red. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, this time... We are going to do, I'm gonna tell the snail again. All right, the snail is gonna tell the bee. The bee is gonna tell the secret to the snake. And then the snake is going to tell the secret to you. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, so first, let me tell the secret. Let me think of a good one. Okay, oh, I got one. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, I can't, can't let you see. Okay, ready? <gasps> okay. So now the snail is gonna tell the, the bee. Ready? Okay, no peeking, no peeking. Okay, and now, oops, sorry. The bee is going to tell, remember who it is? The snake. Okay. Uh-oh, the snake looks a little confused. What? Okay. All right, snake, go ahead and tell all our friends at home. What did you hear? <gasps> I'm skating with a shark. What did you hear? I'm skating with a shark. I'm skating with a shark? That's not what I said. I said, I'm playing at the park. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> all right, let's do one more, okay? This time, we're gonna go, I'm gonna start again, and I'm gonna tell the hummingbird the secret, then the hummingbird's gonna tell our snail, and then the snail's gonna tell the, the frog, and then the frog is gonna tell you. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, let me think of a really good one. Ooh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, ready, here we go, here we go. <laughs> All right, so the bird's gonna fly really fast because hummingbirds fly so fast to the slow snail. All right, so now the snail is moving very slowly towards the frog. I'm gonna share. Really? Okay, all right, here we go, frog. You're gonna tell our friends, what did you hear? 
Hippopotamus toes! <laughs> Did he just say hippopotamus toes? <laughs> Uh, that's not what I said at all. I said, there's something on your nose. <laughs> ah, that's a fun game. So that's another game that you can play with the people with the, around you at home. You guys can play telephone together too. I think that's a fun activity to do. All right, my friends, I want to thank you so much for coming to story time today. I hope you had a good time and we will see you again next week. But until then, we're gonna say goodbye. So with our closing song, and it goes like this. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really fast because when we stop, we have to say goodbye. All right, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.